everyone. I know it's been a few days, but it's been pretty busy around here getting ready for the last days of school before winter break. Um, buying teacher gifts, friends gifts, PTA stuff, holiday parties, homework for the kids, projects for the kids, with the kids. So it's been a little crazy and um, haven't had a lot of time for filming. So I apologize for the brief absence. I'm going to do a quick video tonight. I don't normally film at night, so the lighting is going to be a bit off, but I do plan on filming and uploading a video every day over the weekend, um, and then um, hopefully we'll get back on track. So anyway, I wanted to talk about one product fail and then a couple of good things that I found or picked up over the last week or so. Um, let's start with the fail. So as those of you who have been watching for a long time know, I discovered the brand Inglot, which is a Polish-based brand, um, when I went to Montreal this summer, and my favorite product of all time that I got from them was a an under-eye illuminator concealer, and it's very much like the YSL uh, Touche Eclat, or however you say that in French. I better figure out, since I'm going to be in Paris next week. Um, but anyway... Uh, so I tried to find a drugstore dupe and because you can't get Inglot where I live. So I found the Milani. Uh, they call it the HD Advanced Concealer Click, Cover, Correct, and Protect Eye and Face. And it looks very much like the, um, it's a little prettier actually, it's a gold package, but it's the same concept. It has the um, brush tip applicator and the click and you you know, click to get the product. It's a lot thicker, a lot thicker than the um, Inglot. And I'm just going to touch up here. It goes on much thicker. It doesn't absorb as well. And frankly, I mean, I know it's the end of the day, so I'm going to look tired anyway. It's almost 9 o'clock at night, and I've been up since, you know, 5. But, um... At first, when it goes on, it's okay, but as the day wears on, it actually makes me look more tired. It makes my under eye area look almost blue, which is kind of the look you're trying to avoid. So, I don't know. I haven't tried it on any blemishes, so maybe it works great on blemishes, but I was kind of hoping that, um, since it says it's for eyes and face, but eyes, that that would be, you know, it would work better than this, and it's just not Inglot. So, I think I'm going to have to bite the bullet and just call Inglot and order another one because I found nothing to compare to it. I did try recently, I picked up a couple days ago, the Revlon Color Stay Under Eye Concealer. Um, I think Lisa Eldridge recommended this in one of her videos recently and I do like it. I like it as a concealer. I've played with it a couple of ways. I've done my um, MAC Studio Finish first and then put this on put this on top and then I've also just done this and it does a good job but there's just something about that Inglot and I don't know what it is but um, I, I really like it. And I will admit that when I used it, I didn't use it alone. I would do the concealer first and then put the concealer on, the illuminator on top. So, anyway, I would call this a product fail for what I was hoping it would be, but maybe not a fail. It might not be a complete loss. So, we'll see. On to good stuff. Um, another Revlon Color Stay product I picked up on the advice of many people um, on YouTube. I think Gina Bina Weena 99 may have picked this one up. Um, maybe at least Eldridge as well, but um, it's the Revlon Color Stay Press Powder, and mine is in. It's just pressed powder. It's nothing exciting, and mine is in the color light. And um, I don't normally need a touch up. I will say that when I press on my Cody loose powder in the morning, that's pretty much the only time my powder. But once in a while, I get a little shiny, and this stuff is great. Um, and it's very slim. The compact is very slim and fits in my purse great, and I like it. So this is a yay. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, another thing, I actually I got this a little while ago, but I never did mention it properly in a video. I kind of trashed the EOS Summer Fruit, the red one. I, it's not a love. I'm just trying to use it up. But the Lemon Balm, I think is what it's called, or Lemon Drop, Lemon Something. Um... The smell alone is worth it. It's almost like a Lush product. It's very creamy. It's much creamier than um, the other versions of it. Um, this one does have SPF 15, which you still need to use in the winter. That winter sun can still fry your lips. 
and it stays on a lot better. It is a lot creamier, so if you're going to put on lipstick, um, wipe it off. And one good thing but bad thing is when you lick your lips with this, it does still taste like lemon, which would want would make you want to lick your lips, which will give you chapped lips. So the product works great. The trick is to not lick your lips. Um, another totally random just love that I'm using right now um, is I picked up, it's the, it's going to be hard to see, but it's this Sally Hansen Nail Shine Miracle. And I just recently got it. I have a new system for doing my nails. I <coughs> do my nail envy. I do my base coat. I do my nail polish. I top it off with the Sesh V top coat, which dries it really quickly. Then the next day, I put on this um, Nail Shine Miracle. Because if you put it on just as a regular top coat, it takes a very, very long time to dry. Like a ridiculously long time. And I don't have time to wait for my nails to dry like that. Just, no. But if you put it on over dry nail polish, it dries pretty quickly. And it says, um, I threw away the, hmm, I threw away the packaging, but it's something like a 10 day guaranteed no chip. Well, I don't know about 10, but this is six. Six, 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 no, five. Five days, I'll be fair, five and that's pretty good. No chips. Can you see that? So, and very shiny. Can you see how shiny? Um, so Sally Hansen Nail Shine Miracle. That's a new fave. Back to the nails. I haven't actually tried this yet, but I do have a tear way down there. So I can't really cut that off. That would hurt. So I stopped by Sally Beauty today and I picked up this Swiss Silk they told me this will work great, and I'm, this isn't a review. I just wanted to show you, and maybe if any of you have used this, you can give me a tip. And they come in these pre-adhesive, um, they look like, you know, you pick one of the shapes out that fits your nail, and then you, you know, you glue, you take your nail polish off, and it's like a band-aid. You glue it on with the um, super glue, and then you buff it, and then you glue it again, and then you buff it. So. I will let you know how that works. Um, my husband is insisting this is way too much work and I should just go put acrylic nails back on, but I am determined to grow my own nails out. And then the last love, um, some of you may know, I may have mentioned that I am just pitiful at putting on false lashes. And um, I just, I can't do it. I've seen the applicator tool, I've not tried that yet, that Wayne Goss uses, but generally I'm terrible at it. But I did get, and I don't have any on today, so don't look at my my eyelashes are not a an accurate picture. But I got the um, Permalash, Andrea Permalash. Every every brand sells them. They're the little individual ones. I got them in medium, and they're just little clumps. And you just put like one or two on, and these are idiot proof. So for those of you who've always wanted to try false eyelashes and are just kind of on the fence or completely intimidated by the concept, pick up some of these. They come in short, medium, and long. Um, I think I have pretty long eyelashes and medium is just fine for me. I think long would be more like the extreme or drag queen effect and if that's the look you're going for that's great but for every day, uh, no. And the short are so short that I'm really not sure what the point would be except maybe just to make it fuller. Um, but I would recommend medium. I got mine at Walmart for two, three dollars, and I use the Duo Lash, and um, it's it's great. It's really a lot of fun. So, like, two or three clustered on the side there on the edges, and you're good to go. So anyway, that is my quick random video. I apologize for my absence. I apologize that this video had really no theme at all to it. And, um, like I said, I'm hoping to film tomorrow a tutorial or two that I promised I would do and never got around to. And most definitely, for sure, I will be filming a video on how to pack for a long trip. So, um, I will see you all real soon, like tomorrow. And, um... As always, have a wonderful day and our evening at this point. And if you have any suggestions for some videos you'd like to see in the near future, let me know down below. I'll see y'all soon. Bye-bye.